I guess when the poem contest was called, and so Fiona Lam reached out and said, hey, why don't you draw, uh, write a poem? Because I was actually doing all these watercolor paintings of the buildings in Chinatown. Um, and so I, just, I was like, I don't know if I can write a poem about Chinatown. So, um, so I started putting kind of words, to, um, just connecting things to the different smells. Um, and what I see, uh, you know, the unevenness of the, the asphalt, for example, um, in Chinatown, and, and just kind of things I remember, like how when I was busier with the, I guess, with the grocery stores. Um, but yeah, and so kind of, and then I think that's when I started adding kind of the narrative of my grandmother, um, but pretty much like what is it like to, to kind of walk through Chinatown, like even with me, like I think anyone can kind of be that grandmother, like even as a person kind of walking through the changes, um, you do kind of, if you take a moment to kind of pause and see the changes, I think you can kind of see different pieces of history kind of even in the buildings and kind of um, floating through, uh, say, Pender Street or Kiefer Street. My grandmother used to live in Chinatown near Oppenheimer Park, um, and I imagined, um, she's, so she's 102 now, and so she's in a nursing home, so I imagined uh, what it might be like for her to kind of see the changes in Chinatown. So there's been a lot of changes over the years. Um, it could be gentrification, it could be a lot of different things, but it's interesting to imagine how a 102-year-old would actually see um, these changes in Chinatown. And, and uh, yeah, I was just kind of curious about that. Um, I came up with the title Contrast because there's a lot of different things going on in Chinatown right now. It's like both good and bad. Um, and there's a lot of different communities, and there's always been a lot of different communities in Chinatown. Um, and they didn't necessarily always agree. Um, and so right now we have these fancy coffee shops and restaurants coming in. Um, but, what we, but we also have this uh, population of uh, lower income seniors who live in Chinatown. So it's interesting to kind of see how they're juxtaposed um, with each other. Um, but we also, also have different populations in Chinatown. So I think that's why I came up with the title Contrast. Um, I think Chinatown means a lot of different things to me. Like I grew up in Vancouver, and so when I was a child, this place was um, kind of a place where my parents always brought us to for lunches or to meet, meet people, um, to the doctor or to the optometrist, um, to do banking. So it was kind of a, a center of dependence for my parents and for us growing up, uh, especially as an uh, immigrant family. Um, for me now, it's kind of a, a place where I come back to connect with my identity. Um, and I think it's a, a really special place because it's a combination of you know, being Canadian but also being Chinese and kind of where that culture kind of merges. And, and it's, a, it's a great place to kind of rediscover who you are and kind of build that identity, especially with the changes that are going in, on in Chinatown. And so having that ability to come to a place, in many ways, I think Chinatown will always exist because Chinatowns existed, um, like, I mean, they're still around everywhere, but it's not necessarily Chinese anymore. But I guess it's a question of, like, what is Chinese and what is Chinatown?